Today in Crypto A report presented to Sri Lankan Central Bank Governor Ajit Ngavard Kabral on Monday detailed the results of a now-completed Know Your Customer, or KYC, proof-of-concept project. The project Sri Lanka's central bank, known as the CBSL, included three collaborators who developed the blockchain-based KYC platform concept. The KYC platform was also tested by the CBSL and 10 regional and international commercial banks, including Amana Bank, Bank of Ceylon, Cargill's Bank, Commercial Bank of Ceylon, DFCC Bank, Hatton National Bank, HSBC, National Development Bank, People's Bank and Standard Chartered, OTC, SCBFF. Bank. The team initiated the project in July 2019 and completed the development and testing of the experimental platform on June 10th of this year. Continue reading on Coin Telegraph. Moralis, a platform that powers decentralized applications, or DApps, announced Thursday that it has received a $13,4 million investment from EQT, NYSE, EQT. Ventures. The company said that it expects to use this seed capital for product development and corporate expansion. Morla seeks to provide the blockchain space with a unique user-friendly interface solely for front-end development, while the company and its developers handle the entire back-end. The software can also provide complex services such as node management, authentication and transaction indexing, which are needed for cross-chain networks. Layer 2 solutions and Web 3.0 applications. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. The technical genius behind Apple, Steve Wozniak aka The Woz, visited Yahoo Finance to talk about everything under the sun. They titled the post governments would never allow it. Or would they? Then, Wozniak goes into governmental control. I love it when people like Jack Dorsey talk, like, crypto should be at the heart of our business dealings. Let's stop you right there, Was Dorsey talks about Bitcoin in particular, not crypto. But carry on. The trouble is, the government will never allow it to be out of their control. If it got to the point where everything was being done in crypto, and it didn't pass through government for observation and taxation and all that, no, the governments would just disallow it. They wouldn't give up their power. That's where the heart and a lot of the power comes from, the US dollar. It is out of their control though. That's exactly what a decentralized system is. You can't stop a Bitcoin. You can't ban Bitcoin. You can, nevertheless, ban yourself from Bitcoin. That's what the Chinese did. Let's see how the future judges that decision. You can also stop and ban any other cryptocurrency. They all have superstar creators, PR departments, and a lot to lose. Annual Percentage Yield, or APY on crypto borrowing and lending platform Aave have surged to record levels after capital withdrawals sent the decentralized finance, or DeFi, protocol into a liquidity crunch. At the time of writing, variable APY on borrowing stablecoin DAI via Aave has surged to 24, 88%, compared to approximately 6, 50% the day prior. According to cryptocurrency researcher Igor I. Gambard, Blockchain personality Justin Sun was responsible for at least billions of dollars in withdrawals in the past few hours. A uh, Aves total value locked, or TVL, fell to $14,7 billion from $17,89 billion the day prior, based on data from DeFi Continue reading on Cointelegraph. U.S. Senator Bill Haggerty, RVA who was elected in 2020 to represent Tennessee after a stint as ambassador to Japan, spoke to newly appointed Consumer Financial Protection Bureau Director Rohit Chopra regarding cryptocurrencies in a banking committee hearing, saying I just want to make certain as you exercise those oversight responsibilities that we don't stifle innovation in this arena. Haggerty introduced legislation with Senator Mark Warner, DVA in July to study China's adoption of a digital currency. Chopra and Haggerty have notably clashed previously during the former's confirmation hearings, with Haggerty even introducing a bill to require congressional approval for the Bureau's funding. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.